Hi, we're Westlife, and you're watching Stompcast Lab. I don't know, I think like naturally over the years, um, our fan base that started with us at the very beginning and uh, sort of grown up on us, you know. Um, you know, a typical fan may have been about 15, 16, and around that age when we started off. Um, that's seven years ago, so now they're like 22, 23, you know, and everybody, you know, including us, grow up in that period, you know. Um, I think also one thing that we've done, I know it wasn't necessarily massively received in Southeast Asia, but the, the rap pack album that we've done, done quite well back home, and I think that, that was one thing that an average sort of like six pack kind of orientated, like all about kind of the cheesy smiles and all that. I don't think you could quite pull that off unless you have a bit more depth here than that. So um, I think that definitely showed that, um, I don't know, that we have. You know, it's not that I'm it's not just the cheesy old boy band, you know what I mean? It's like that we're adults now and we're men and that, you know, we can sing different types of songs as well, you know. Yeah, we've, uh, we've actually just finished recording our album, um, which is uh, due for release on November 6th. Um, it's called The Love Album. It's, it's a themed album. It's um, basically Simon Cowell, our a and man in, in Sony BMG, uh, together with our manager, Lou Walsh. They wanted us to do a Love Album, uh, which is basically a lot of cover songs, every single song of an old love song. So, if you, for example, Hard to Say I'm Sorry by Chicago, um, Totally Clips of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler. Um, so all those songs, so there's going to be say 13 to 14 tracks of, you know, all the greatest love songs of, and that, that kind of collectively we've chosen on the album. So we've just completed all of those and um, some good songs on there, You Light Up My Life by uh, Debbie Boone as well. Um, so yeah, we're really happy with that. Unfortunately, I mean, you know, we'd love to have another studio album out um, of our own original tracks, which we, obviously we had last year, um, Face to Face, which was so successful. I think Face to Face was um, an album that really, really, really kind of restarted, kickstarted our career again in, in many parts of the world. Um, especially in Asia, you know, it enabled us to come over here to do these shows. Um, it also broke Australia for us last year, uh, which we're, we're about to tour Australia uh, in February of 2007. Um, so yeah, it's, it was a great album for us, but what I think our record probably does quite well, even though we don't necessarily agree with it all of the time, is um, they choose, Simon chooses the style of album, what type of album to do at a particular time. Um, given the choice, we would probably would have preferred this year to go with another studio album and get some great original songs. But um, Simon's a good judge of the amount of, say, quality original songs that are out there at the moment. And unfortunately, for a band like Westlife, there's not an awful lot. The songwriters that write our songs um, haven't been, you know, let's say, producing a list or a shell of songs. Um, so there's, it's a, we would prefer not to release, say, you know, lesser songs. You know, we'd rather do a themed album, a covers album. You know, do it, do the, the artwork. Perfectly do, shoot the video in a, in, a, in a certain style and, and promote that till next year and tour that and then look at another studio album next year. We know him years, we know him, I think eight years now. He signed us originally, he flew into. Shut up! <laughs> he flew into, um, into Ireland eight years ago to see us perform when we were you know, not signed and he decided that he would take us on. That was before he became famous and became the big mean guy on TV. It wasn't necessarily mean, but he was, you know, he knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. Um, and we were all at the time in fear of him. You know, it was like this big record, you know, boss, record company boss. <coughs> I mean, that changed over the years. We have a good relationship with Simon in, in a sense of, I mean, we don't speak to him every day, we don't speak to him every month. In fact, I can't recall the last time I spoke to him. But what, when we do speak with him, we're quite honest and he treats us like, you know, young men and we treat him like an old man. I think, you know, there's so many love songs in the past or whatever. Um, I mean, this album, you know, obviously, we couldn't just go out and pick all of our individual favourite love songs. I think each song that we've chosen has to sort of fit into the Westlife style, you know. So, um, you know, there could be a love song that... And also, one thing we had to do is be careful that we didn't sort of go down the kind of karaoke route and make lots of songs that are really, really karaoke. We wanted to find songs that... You know, once again, just to have, there, there was a bit more to them than just you know the same songs that you hear in every pub and every bar in the world. 
it suddenly. Yeah. So, for that reason, that's the reason that we had to find time to fit it into Westlake. I think that, you know, it, it limited us a lot, it didn't limit us, it just sort of uh, made it a lot easier to choose um, because an awful lot of the best love songs ever are unfortunately um, sort of diluted by the fact that. You know, as I said, they're massive karaoke bars and stuff, you know. Um, so, and that's all great and everything, you know, karaoke is, is, is fine or whatever, but um, we didn't want it to be like one of those compilations that you see advertised on the TV. Um, so, um, the, I don't know what my favourite love song is, there's hundreds of love songs that I love or whatever. I think, um, I don't know, it would probably be one of the princess songs that I love. Like, like like By bet for better or not, or by far, or um, by thousands of million miles. It's just, um, I don't know, it's just like a massive weight off my shoulders. Now. That's, it's just out there now, everybody knows, and um, I can you know, live, live my relationship and go for dinner, go to the cinema, go to the or whatever, and it's not have to worry that my son or my friend now. You know, I don't think that that's a very natural way of living a relationship. And you know, a lot of people live their lives like that, but for me personally, nothing um, is, I don't know, nothing is more important than me being able to just live my life and enjoy myself. And, you know, and if that means, um, you know, certain great people are liking me and having a life, they seem to be, everyone seems to be fine. I haven't got any negative remarks directly to me, you know, I don't know what people. Um, Say so behind closed doors to each other, but um, I certainly haven't got any negative remarks. You know, not directly, just solely to other fans or whatever, but just to everybody in the world. Is the um, if they don't like it, then they can not because they don't really care. If, um, that's, you know, I don't think. I think I'm a nice person. Remember, it's their problem if they have a problem with you.